Hi, I'm Dr. J, and this is a video about uniform random variables. It's the second video in a three-part video series about continuous random variables. The first video was about general continuous random variables, while the next video will be about normal random variables. This is a very short video. So uniform random variables are probably the simplest continuous random variables you can think of. Basically, the probability of getting any particular value is equal to the probability of getting any other particular value. And not just zero, like I said before, but the fact is that the probability density function is flat or uniform. Okay, so that's the key piece with a uniform random variable. To denote a uniform random variable, we will use the notation random variable tilde unif AB, where the AB indicates the interval that it's uniformly drawn from. So A would be the smallest possible value, B would be the biggest possible value, and any value in between those two would be equally likely. Here is the probability density function. So we have one over the quantity B minus A times this I, right? And this I is what's called an indicator function. So the indicator function is true, is one, whenever the quantity inside that indicator is true, and it's full, it's zero, anytime that quantity is false. So in the probability density function here for a uniform random variable, we have that the indicator is one whenever x, the random variable we're interested in, is between a and b, and it's zero otherwise. All right, from this probability density function, we can derive the expectation, which turns out to be the quantity a plus b divided by two, and we can also derive the variance, which turns out to be the quantity 1 12th times b minus a quantity squared. The most common uniform random variable is called a standard, standard uniform random variable, and it's uniform on the range between zero and one. Using the formulas on the previous slide, we can find that the expectation is one half and the variance is one twelfth. The probability density function for a standard uniform looks like this. Like, I don't know, can it get much more boring, right? It's just one between zero and one, and it's zero everywhere else. Pretty dang boring step function. But this standard uniform has a huge amount of uses. In particular, pseudo-random number generators on computers are designed, typically, to take on values on this standard uniform scale, that is, between 0 and 1. On this slide, I'm going to provide an example usage of pseudo-random variables to draw from almost any distribution you could think of. And that is that we can use something called the inverse cumulative distribution function in order to generate these pseudo-random numbers. If you remember from the previous slide, we had this uh, random variable we looked at that had a probability density function that between zero and one was three times x squared. And we found its cumulative distribution function, which was x cubed. Well, we can then find the inverse of this cumulative distribution function. And it turns out if we make it a function of u, that that u is raised to the quantity one third. That's the inverse of x cubed. Okay. And now the key thing is that in order to draw a random variable from this distribution, that is the one from the previous slide that had a PDF of three times X squared, what we have to do is we can get a uniform zero one random variable from any pseudo random number generator that we want. And we can plug it in to this inverse CDF. That is, we can raise that quantity that we just drew to the one third power. And now we have a draw of this other random variable that we talked about on the previous video. That is, we have a draw from the random variable that has the probability density function 3x squared on the range 0 to 1. All right, so uh, that's what we just did. We can produce draws then of this other, to do this other random variable. Uh, here is that process in R. So first we define a function that can calculate the inverse CDF. The next line, we're going to evaluate that function on a whole set of uniform random draws. And by default, we don't specify, we draw a standard uniform that is a uniform between zero and one. The one e to the three there means that we're gonna draw a million of these. So we draw a million of those. For each of them, we do the inverse CDF. And now we have a whole set of draws of this other random variable that we're, uh, we're calling x right here. x is actually a vector of all these draws. 
We can take the mean of that, right? It's approximately three fourths. We saw in the previous video that that's exactly what the mean or expectation of the distribution is. We can calculate the variance of those draws and we see that it's very close to the 3 80th that we found on the previous video. As a final note on this particular process, here is a histogram of the draws that we had from that uh, using that pseudorandom number generator and raising it to the one third power. The histogram here, that is those vertical rectangles, provide uh, an accounting for how many of those random variables were in each bin on that x-axis. So most of them were close to one, there were very few that were close to zero. Then on top of this histogram, we have a red line. And that red line is the probability density function for this random variable. That is, it's the function three times x squared. And you'll see there's crazy good agreement between that histogram and the PDF as an illustration of the fact that this method does actually work of using standard uniforms, plugging it into the inverse CDF to get draws from any distribution that you might consider getting draws from. All right, so that's a quick intro to uniform random variables. In the next video, we'll be on normal random variables. Catch you there.